Hi Crochetters of the World! In this tutorial I want to show you another, a, a variation actually of the Jasmine Stitch and I have here the swatch that I made uh, when I do, did the, the, the tutorial. So you have the tutorial of this Jasmine Stitch. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? And now I want to show you another one the, that it's really really more airy and uh, really really nice to for a summer scarf or summer top or something like this. Now I want to show you how to work it and to actually have a very nice um, airy structure for your um, stitch you can use some thick yarn Okay, it can, it can be mohair or uh, baby wool or I don't know, a cotton, very thick cotton yarn. I'm using a thick cotton yarn with a 2.5 mm hook. And now I want to show you how to work it. Now, we will chain two and into the first chain work a single crochet. Oops. Okay, now chain one. We have to make a longer stitch, yarn over and insert the hook into the single crochet, pull up a loop. Now pinch here actually in the middle as for as if you work the Solomon's knot actually. Yarn over and pull through all. Now insert the hook here into this loop and pull up a little loop. Now yarn over, pull through both loop, both loop on your hook and here we have our first. Now chain one, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet that you made and pull up another loop. Put here the finger Yarn over, keep distance this loop, pull through all, insert the hook into the loop, pull up a little loop <laughs> and yarn over, pull through two. Chain and longer loop, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Now keep here the finger now pull through all, insert the hook into the loop that you keep it uh, here and yarn over, pull through two. So actually we have some a kind of puff stitches with single crochet on the top of them. Now chain one and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet on the top of the last puff and pull up a loop. Keep here the finger pull up, uh, pull through all, insert the hook into this loop that you keep it like this with your finger and pull up a little loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all two. Now we have four, we need four, this is the basic chain, so uh, the basic actually row, sorry, so we need a mul not multiple, we need an even number. Now I will work two more exactly the same thing one chain one and into the single crochet pull up a loop can you see it's really really easy and you'll see so beautiful okay now I have my six puff stitches to begin and actually to begin a second row I will work one more puff so I will chain one, pull a loop and insert the hook into the single crochet, pull up another loop and close it like this with a single crochet. Now we have seven, actually we have six, I will show you here. So actually we have six plus, oops, plus one, I'm here. So actually we have six on first row plus one for the second row. Now we will work all the row with three three puffs 
together. One will be worked here into this single crochet, the second one here, and the third one here. So actually this is my row, this is my first row, this I have my one, two, three, four, five, six puffs. I begin the second row, so we begin each of our rows for the entire length of our project with one puff. And we will work then three puffs together. So it's one, it's two, and it's three. Now let me show you. So chain one, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Now yarn over, keep it tight, Skip one puff into the single crochet here, pull up a loop and keep it tight. Yarn over, skip one puff, insert the hook into the very next and pull up a loop. Now actually we have all that we need. We have to close them together. This is a little bit more difficult because we, kept, we have to keep the finger here and to pull through all, insert the hook into the loop here, pull up a loop and single crochet. And this is exactly my first three together puff stitch. Okay, now let's go on, continue on working three together. three puff stitches together. So, again, chain one and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Now keep it tight, tight yarn over, insert the hook into the very next single crochet here. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and skip one puff, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Now we have all that we need to finish the stitch. So we, we keep tight here, we put the finger in the middle, yarn over and pull through all that we have here, insert the hook around this solitary loop here that we we are keeping with the finger and pull up a little loop. Yarn over and single crochet. Chain one and let us begin another one. So this is our longer loop. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Insert the hook into this single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, keep it tight here with your finger, skip one puff, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Now keep it tight all here with your finger. Put your finger here, yarn over and pull through all. Oops. As I said before, it's not very easy. Pull through all and insert the hook into the solitary loop here and single crochet. But it's so beautiful. Chain one, so you just have to try it. Chain one to practice actually. This is my first loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Keep it tight, yarn over. Insert the hook into the next single crochet, skipping the puff and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Keep tight here, keep the finger here, this one here, this one here and pull through all. Okay, this was not through all but I can do it, yes. And now insert the hook into this loop only and work your single crochet. Chain one and pull a longer loop here. Yarn over, 
Insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Keep this tight here. Pull up a loop. Oops. Can you see? I have to practice more. <laughs> and pull through all. Oops. Now I have here my solitary loop. It's very important because it's like this that we have this, can you see, so nice texture. I just love it. So chain one and pull up a longer loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop, yarn over, Insert the hook into the next single crochet, which is our last single crochet, and pull up a loop. Now, keep this all together. Keep here your finger. And now, pull through all, keeping this apart. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, and single crochet. And this is my first row finished. So this is how it looks and it's so beautiful. Now let us work the second row to complete our nice jasmine stitch. So we begin each row with just one puff. So I will chain one, turn my work, up the loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet and another loop and close it with a single crochet. Okay, this is my solitary and from here it's really easy because we work one here, one here and one here. So in each of our single crochets, actually so in one, two, three and we just continue on like this for all the row. Now pull up a loop, insert the hook into the single crochet, pull up another loop, yarn over. Oops. Now insert the hook into the very next, sorry, here it is my very next single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the very next single crochet and pull up another loop. Now we have all the loops on the hook. Keep the finger here, pull through all, insert the hook into this uh, loop apart and yarn over, pull through two. Okay, and this is my second, beginning actually of my second row. So let us continue on working three petals together, one, two and three, always like this. Pull up a loop, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up another loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Now keep here really tight, pull through all and here I have, I am keeping it with my finger this loop apart to work my single crochet in it. Chain one and let us begin one more. I need more yarn. So actually to work this stitch properly you need the yarn to be free. So it's here, like this, okay? Very important, this aspect. Yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. 
Now that I have all my loops here, keep your finger and pull through all. Now insert the hook into this loop apart and pull up a loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. As I said, you need to practice this. It's not difficult and it's really really wonderful this stitch. Two and three. Now we can keep here, pull through all, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Chain one. Pull up a longer loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the single crochet and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop. Now keep the finger here, yarn over and pull through all, insert the hook into this loop that you kept it apart. Pull up a loop on your hook, yarn over, pull through two to complete your single crochet. Chain one and pull up a longer loop, yarn over, insert the hook and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the next single crochet which is my last single crochet and pull up a loop. Now. Keep all this here, keep the finger here, yarn over, pull through all and insert the hook into this loop apart to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So, this is a complete actually. Nice work, really, really beautiful, I, I adore it. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so. I may say with a nice small hair yarn, really really thick, uh, thin actually, so a lace yarn, you will just have a beautiful, beautiful scarf or stop or um, shawl or anything you want. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you at the next tutorial. Bye bye!